Shankara, someone asked him, like, so you're talking about enlightenment, but if there's if we're already enlightened, then who's the one being enlightened? And he said, well, who's the one asking the question? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And he just laughed like it's it's so ridiculous because we we are we are thinking that we're not aware, but we really are on some level. And it's just that understanding that it it. It's um, it's kind of a mind bender in a way for us to mm. to because we we are so certain of our reality because our senses the the you know the the survival part of our brain shows us this is real I could touch this I believe in this and then then there's people that have that openness to see that there's something beyond the physical the metaphysical um, but how do we how do we really work with it without becoming superstitious without be using fear. And um, and a, and a kind of separation, and even feeling arrogant that you can do things that other people can't do. It's really how do you how do you really balance that out in um, for a person? Like, what's what would be the best way to work and approach this? The Jung says, well, it's a gradual deconditioning of your mind mm-hmm. right? because if you start up with this idea that we're conditioned, we're, we're misperceiving the world. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Because it's based on survival. And so, yeah, we need to survive. But we're misperceiving the, the absolute reality. Mm. What we're seeing is an apparent reality that helps survive and helps us kind of make sense of the world and feel like, yeah, I can manage this. But he says, there's a stage there. And when you get to you're ready to mature to that real human experience of transcendence. He called it individuation, where then you're ready to let go of that uh, initial stage of existence. Is that why Jung said life begins at 40 until then, which is <laughs> practice? And it, it well, I for me, I, I find like every there's different levels of personal development and there's the ego building personal development and understanding that your thoughts create your life and i think that's a critical part you have to start at the beginning okay well my thoughts create my life so i do have some power so that's step one i can change my thoughts and change my reality wow i can be more motivated i can talk to myself and motivate myself and actually effectuate change that locus of control starts building and then i think the real breakthrough for me was when I did shadow work and I realized Mm. that I'm seeing myself in other people and that projection and understanding projection, I think that's the next level. But I think first we need to kind of feel that we have agency in the world and that we can change change something in ourselves that we can change our life. And then you can go to shadow work, which is more now you're seeing that the your, yourself and other people you know you're seeing those these, these conflicts that show up they're showing me my mind and so we're getting like that kind of individual experience of that oh things aren't always as they seem and through that i think it's like a, a practicing ground to go to stage three where we're actually now seeing ourselves in this state beyond the ego but we need those other states you can't go from stage one where oh i can create my life and I'm just going to manifest mm. things like you need to do the shadow work in between. And I think that's what a lot of people are missing is they don't do the shadow work. And then they're trying to go to these spiritual experiences without kind of going through that personal like um, resolution within themselves of what am I what am I really dealing with in the world? And yeah. uh, and spirituality, uh, I think a lot of times becomes a place uh, where people want to escape the world versus, as Jung would say, you want to integrate the conscious and the unconscious. You don't want to just go off and go to, you know, escape, like an escape yeah. mechanism. So how do we integrate? And I think shadow work is a great per first step to do that. And then Jung's whole individuation process is all about that. 